Yo, what's up, the guy? All right, give me one second here. Not much, I was just watching XQC fail at risk again and blaming on stream snipers. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the only reason. Just being stream snipes. Let's see if we can jump into some games here. Let's try Asia. We haven't done Asia in a while. Can try Asia. I don't know if we'll get a, a full lobby here in Asia, but um, if we don't get a full lobby here, we'll uh, we'll look for something else. Or we can try classic. Do a classic map. I'll give this like another two minutes here. Or maybe less, another like minutes. See if anyone joins. What's uh, the min rank? Uh, the min rank is beginner. Let me move this aside. Hmm. Where am I going to put this thing? All right, I guess I can move it right here. All right, no one probably wants to play Asia first. Why is it uh, hard to find a match? You know, that's a good question. I don't know why it's hard to find a match. I think uh, it's hard to find something that's not classic. If we go into the pre-made lobbies right now, I think 90% of these are classic. Look at this. It's all classic. One, two, two maps, not classic. Three. Three maps, not classic. Reverse worlds. This is the reverse of classic. We could try that. All right, yeah, I, I do prefer the reverse classic. Sets around here are pretty amazing. The reds, oranges, yellows, and the second best. 
purple you'll ever see. That's because sunsets don't have the gel flex grid. Only purple mattresses do. It's the reason why purple mattresses are soft where you want it, firm where you need it, and instantly respond to movement. The gel flex grid flexes around pressure points to support your whole body. Plus, it's 80% air. It breathes, so you're not too hot or too cold. Experience the gel flex grid today. If no one joins this lobby here, we'll uh, we'll join one of those classic maps, or we'll look for a pre-made lobby instead. Gets one player. All right, now we're in business. Now we're in business. Yes. If we were doing one v ones, we'd be in business. That's why sometimes I start out with one v ones early stream because uh, not many people join right when I start. I think in the next about one hour, hour and a half is when more people join. Baby Yoda. Where's the where are these rankings here? Baby Yoda just bought the game. This guy. Alright. I'll wait like maybe uh, 15 more seconds here and I'll just add a bot because usually if you don't add a bot uh, you start losing players. I think five player five human players is fine. I've never seen a reverse game. Reverse World is pretty fun. I used to not be a fan of it until I started to play it a little bit more. Now I'm, uh, I kind of like it a little bit. But it, I wouldn't say it's my favorite map, but I would say it's like uh, up there with one of uh, a decent map at least. We got six players and everyone holds 11 territories. There's a lot of, uh, that's what, 66 territories? Alright, so let's look at our position. We go uh, fifth. We go fifth for orange. Uh, I try. I want to hold four positions if I can. Pink is going to play to this area, so we're not going to play to here. Where can we play? I don't see us holding a position up here. Uh, I see we're going to lose this position to blue. Oh man, this is going to be a little rough on what to do. Alright, so we want to at least uh, have a position down here, a position right here, and I guess we'll have a position up here. So we'll probably have three positions, unless we make this middle section a fourth position. I'm not a fan of this middle position, because it's kind of a, a crossing zone for everyone, the path right through. Uh, we'll, we'll probably keep this four here and see how this goes keep with four here keep our five up here uh fortify these two positions and hope that yellow doesn't uh fight for this because if yellow fights for this bottom corner this is going to be a, a tough one to hold or we can hold it here we can get out of yellow's way by holding this section we can attack this yellow into this red piece and uh chill right on this red piece but that also means we're going to have to uh, deal with yellow holding a bonus right next to us. Does anyone want to let yellow hold this bonus? Yellow has this bottom position and this side position. But if they hold this, they'll kind of be a little strong. Blue holding that bottom corner right down here is actually really strong for him. I don't think anyone's going to break him unless pink breaks him. Nice, attack these yellow pieces. Who's above 12? 
We got three people above 12, so they get four troops on their turn. I hold 10. I don't see myself holding 12. I see green going for this region, so I got yellow up here and green right here. I actually need a lot of troops down here if I want to have any shot at surviving. Um... There, we just put green below 12 intentionally. So that way green gets three troops on his turn. Um, I did fortify this because I do want this to survive, but I need a lot of troops here if I want to fight against green. Oh yeah, and this is actually getting wiped out by yellow taking this over. But I think we'll still survive here. I hope he doesn't do a four on two. Oh wow, pink is gonna take this trying to be buddies with blue or not It's just gonna blitz blue like that So pink's definitely not holding that region after breaking blue And he puts blue below 12 Oh you should put pink below 12 so they get less troops on their turn. Pink gets four troops. Otherwise, uh, you can give them three. I think uh, that one troop would uh, make a small difference. It's not like a big difference, but I, I would do it. I would put pink below 12. Here, I don't think we're going to connect our four and our two. I think I'll make yellow work for it. Uh, yellow's at 11, he gets 3 troops. I doubt he can take this. I mean, he can take this, but I think he's going to need good dice rolls to take this on his next turn. Green, on the other hand, going to get 3 troops on his turn. I, I really hope he doesn't put uh, a 5 stack and try to blitz my 4 stack. I need to put a lot of troops here. More troops than I really want to put here. Let's see if we can make a route out of here. Because green is closing in on us. Alright, this three stack doesn't attack anything. It's blocked in. Oh, and he's going to give up his position up here. Um, I did put a troop here. Just in case uh, green kills us out of here, we have a position outside. I'll put one more troop. All right, we'll put one troop here and put the rest there. And we'll attack uh, up top. We need to have multiple attacks on our next turn. because We're running out of ones to attack. I'll go right here. I don't see it uh, being an issue playing up here. We still have a one red we can attack. Uh, down here, we'll need to put troops here if we want to get a guaranteed hit. Uh, six and two is a hundred percent. I don't think green's going to kill us out of here, but I do think I should get out of here before green turns in his cards. Ah, yellow. Yellow trying to break blue on the other side of the board. I don't think blue was an enemy to yellow. I think that was just a waste of troops and an unnecessary attack. He should have taken out this blue stack up here. Like if, he, if he was afraid of blue, just take blue off of here and hold this region. Because pink and blue are fighting. There's no reason to fight blue when someone else is already fighting blue. Oh, I think pink bought it. Is pink a bot? Oh yeah, pink's offline. Pink is offline. All right, Blue's gonna fight a bot, but um, I don't think Blue knows that Pink's a bot. But that's fine. He can fight with the bot if he wants. 
He's not going to put much here, so that way he gives uh, Yellow another shot to break him. If Yellow still wants to uh, blitz him again. Red holds that top region, probably going to bully Pink a little bit. Or he takes out this blue stack. I think that would be nice. Take out this blue stack. Uh, red takes this out. Yellow takes this out. Makes uh, blue a little bit easier to be eliminated. Not that I'm going to eliminate him, but it makes him easier for someone else to take him out. Unfortunately, this is becoming my biggest stack because I'm trying to defend against uh, green here and not uh, get eliminated out of here. Oh, wait a second. We turn in after green. Green gets the 10 turn in. We get the 12 turn in. Oh, he's going to... Take out the blue pieces? Puts blue below 12. Oh, is green trying to get out of here? Interesting, green doesn't want to fight with me. He doesn't want to fight with my stack. Alright, we'll keep this 3 stack here. I might lose this. Now that I'm pretty confident R6 isn't going to be taken out. I'm going to put um, two troops, one troop here, and we'll put um, uh, two troops up here. Then we'll just um, attack green and hope that green goes below 12. And we'll pull away right there. So we can still attack a pink piece or a green piece if we want to. And that way if green or red wants to come in, they don't attack my two stack. So we do lose that position. Yellow still doesn't hold this. We do have a set and we get a plus two somewhere. We get a plus two right there. Ooh, I might fortify to that location. We might play to that region, but I can see we also get this two right here. I wouldn't mind attacking this red two stack and we get this plus two right there instead. We automatically get one of these turn-ins. I definitely cannot take that plus two up there. Pink is down to 15. Pink might be our target. Pink is a possible target, not a guaranteed target. We might be able to take out pink. So I think we touch all the, the pink locations, except for this one right here. And I'm going to hope... Well, green would have taken it out if he was going for this region, but I don't think green is going for this anymore. We can use this stack to take out this. Oh, man, we have to do a split right here to take out this, though. Ink is, like, super weak. I I'm sure we could take him out, but... Yeah, then we'll, we'll definitely play to this two stack instead. That's my next attack. We'll take out this red piece. We'll take out this pink piece. I'll let yellow take this out so I don't do, uh, do the work for yellow. I need to hope that yellow expands a little bit and it takes out this pink piece. And maybe if he gets greedy, he might take out this three stack for us. Hmm. Taking out a blue stack. Blue holds the two regions. Wow. He gets a plus nine. Blue gets away with a plus nine. That's actually insane. I've never seen someone hold that much before. And red's not going to break them. Oh yeah, even better if I attack this two stack because I didn't realize, but I'm actually connected to blue. If we get away from this connection, blue might feel a little bit safer here. Yeah, green is trying to take this over. Oh, and he takes out the pink piece. Uh, <laughs> he's going to break blue. Wow, that's uh, that's really unlucky. I didn't know he was going to blitz blue like that. And I had to keep in mind, green will turn in. But if he turns in early, we should be fine. We use this uh, this piece to take out this one. We'll use right here. 
Uh, we'll take out this pink pea. Alright, we're playing to here. Our next turn, we'll be taking out this one stack right here. We'll take out this one stack. Hopefully yellow takes this out right now. I need to hit this this pink one before um someone takes out my six. But I don't think yellow is gonna kill us. Or at least kill our six. We have 22. We don't have the least amount. But we have the same amount as green does. Oh, okay. And yellow's not going to defend against my six. Does yellow trust me? Oh, and that's actually even worse for yellow. Because yellow was going last and he turned in first. Not really sure. Oh. Oh, man. He's going to go in that direction. Okay, that might actually get yellow to kill him now. I think yellow will take this out now if he feels pressured by a pink. And I know yellow cannot kill pink. So even if I take out uh, this pink one, I don't think uh, we'll feed pink over to anyone. We'll aim to take pink out on three cards. Or, and then maybe we can take out green. Because green uh, kind of made blue the enemy. An enemy with blue here. We take out pink. Take out green. Can we take them both out at the same time though? If yellow takes this out and I take this out... Maybe it might be possible. I might have to make this my main kill stack to take out green We can use this six to take out this two this uh, this six to take out this chunk This six to take out the rest of green Yeah, I think we can maybe do it. We'll only do it if we have enough troops though And last red's gonna take him out right here that two stack <laughs> Rip green. Green just actually became easier than pink, but I'm still gonna maybe aim for pink possibly. Maybe. Let's we'll just see what happens uh, after our next turn here. Ah, uh, green. Yeah, no, green's definitely going to be uh, getting it here. Because blue has not turned in. He has five cards. Uh, blue is going to get the 10, 12 turn in. They get the, well, I actually get the max turn in here. I get the 15 turn in. Blue gets the 10, 12 turn in, and he's going to crush green. Oh yeah, green. There's no shot green is holding that region when blue's about to turn in here. Alright, we do have a setup. I wasn't going to take him out. Uh, I'll take this pink piece out now. And I said I wanted to take this out. I hope that that really hits. I wanted to take out both pink pieces. Hmm. Alright, did we make pink too weak? There's no way yellow can take him out, so I'm not worried. As long as he doesn't go through my two. Well, he lost three troops, so it's not that bad, I guess. But he did go... Th yeah, I'm actually glad I took out uh, pink when I did, because I, I might have lost my six uh, on yellow's turn. 
I think yellow might have put everything on that three stack and hit my six, so I didn't uh, attack him. But uh, I, I still have that position down there, so it's not like he completely wiped us out. But uh, he didn't attack pink like as I was hoping he would attack. Oh yeah, here comes green. We might have to go for green first. Pink has 18. Green is more than likely going below because there's a 5 stack right there. Let's see it. 17. And he gets broken. And he's below 12. So he gets 3 troops, he has 19. He'll have one more troop than pink. If he doesn't uh, lose any troops on his uh, next attack. But green is one chunk, so it's easier to take him out. We take out green, right? What if I can path out pink with this guy? I take this big chunk to take out the rest of green. We path it through yellow to take this out, and I use my six here to come down and take out this chunk. It might work. Oh my gosh, those rolls. Green. <laughs> Hey, look at that. He got a four on three, didn't lose a troop, and he still has more than pink. Those were actually really good rolls from him. Oh, and we have a wild card. GG's. Uh, yeah, we take out green. I didn't even take out blue, honestly. Blue has 22. Uh, we need an 8 stack. Oh, wow. Do we dare take out blue? <sighs> take out blue? I wasn't thinking about taking out blue until just now. 22? Hmm. Oh, bad pathing, bad pathing. Don't look at it. Oh my gosh, I actually butchered my my play. Alright, we're not committing. We cannot commit to this. I have to uh, hope that someone doesn't turn in or take out blue now. I don't think pink is going to take him out. Blue goes right next. Yellow is definitely not taking him out. I, I hope blue has a set here. So I might have just fed blue over. But it's if blue turns... Wait a second, if blue doesn't turn in, I can still take him out because I have a set. I had a wild card. Ooh, I can maybe take out blue still. Oh, orange is going to attack me. Cool, I, I get it. I mean, not orange. Uh, yellow is going to attack us. Oh, red. Red. Can red take him out? I might be dead. No, there's no way he can kill us. Even if he has a set on three cars, we have 40 troops. I will take out blue. It's only, um... <laughs> he actually has a set. Nice. Imagine having a set on three cards. I mean, I have a set too, so I can't complain. But I'm sure I'm going to lose a lot here. Do we have enough here to take out pink still? Or should we take out pink? We get 30, they have 21. We have a 9 stack, we have to go through yellow. Risking the shot that yellow doesn't kill us after we do this. Or, no, 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 we take our 6 here. We go through with our 6, we go through right here. Take them out. And hope no one kills us. 
or we don't take out pink and we just uh turn in and have a big chunk we'll just have a big chunk but if we take out pink we have a guaranteed set on our next turn we'll end our turn on five cards I turn in, I have 30, that'll give me 60. If anyone else turns in, who can take us out? Yellow, I, I doubt yellow can take us out. I think the best person to take us out is red. I think if red doesn't kill us, we could survive with five cards. Red is going to split like 20 different ways here. Okay, I think I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit comfortable around red now. The way red is playing, I feel comfortable. Yeah, I don't think red is really knowing how to play progressive. I think we'll we'll take out pink. Um, we'll put the least amount here. We need a 9 stack at least to have a guaranteed attack. So, 11, 10, 9, 13. we survive and we'll break blue just because he broke us but i did to be fair i did try to kill him all right we will uh chill right here and hope that we have three positions survive i'll pull this away from yellow so he doesn't feel like we're gonna attack him there i pulled it away from yellow i don't know if yellow sees this connection but i pulled it away looking like i'm not going to attack him but technically, I'm still attacking him. <laughs> Alright, we have our sets here. One of each. Yellow's gonna split. Yeah, I know. Yellow's not an issue. Yellow's not worried. I'm, I'm. Yellow might even break us, but I don't care if yellow breaks us. It doesn't matter when the turn-ins are 35 and 40s now. Yellow. Yellow's playing a big game. Yellow is OCD. <laughs> Yellow. Uh, yeah, you're right, Sunless Silver. I think uh, Yellow has some issue with these threes and fours and stuff. Oh, Blue's a bot. Blue bot it out here. Yeah, Blue's offline. That's fine. Yellow's a fool. Yellow's a, flu a fool, and I think Red might be a fool here too. Um, Red's that's the only person i'm worried about red with four cards is the only person that can kill us and if he doesn't kill us i might even just kill blue if i kill blue we end our turn on five cards again i cannot attack anyone other than blue at the moment uh, attacking blue might not be worth it so maybe we'll wait we'll just turn in our three cards we won't kill anyone but we'll try and hope we'll, we'll, we'll survive i think we won't take out blue on three we'll take them out on their next turn just wait for blue to get three yeah we'll wait for blue to get three cards because i'll be weakened then i won't get a turn in an auto turn in i'll be weakened uh it, it won't matter and red didn't turn in oh my gosh can i even kill reds where's my pluses nowhere useful uh we held a region 60 57 why don't we just kill yellow yellow on four cards can we not kill yellow here oh my gosh i'm killing yellow i i'm pretty confident we can take yellow out here
right, then we might be able to kill blue for another auto turn in. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely take out blue here. 36. Uh, 46. And then we'll put uh, 9 there. And we'll put the rest here to attack red. I hope my, my uh, split here works out for us. Nice, now we take red down. Unlucky red not having a set. They got the big stacks first. Yikes. Yo, play. Imagine if you've been playing only bots all these years. Imagine that that's all I played were bots all these years. <laughs> you know, I wish they made bots this strong. I'll be else. We'll kill him. GGs. GGs. Oh, did he bot? No, he didn't bot. Is he gonna try fighting back? I think he should try fighting back. Even though I, I might not have a set on three, but I do have a set on three. So. I guess we're, we're a little bit lucky today. We're actually getting our sets on three today. But uh, it is late game, so I don't know if I... Uh, I guess a set on three is a set on three, so it's cool. Alright, everything touches. We'll take out all of this. Thirty-seven. Almost enough to take him out with just that. GG's. A master. We played a master, beginners, and intermediates. Nice. Puts us at 1,184. Wheat. Britannia advanced. This one I usually have, I struggle with my pathing on. Let's see if we can improve on our pathing on this one. Wow, look at that. Everyone wants to join here. Almost got a full lobby in less than a minute. Alright, we'll wait like another 30 seconds or so. Hopefully someone joins, or we can end a bot. Nice. Got a full lobby. We are fifth again. This is usually a hot zone that I try to stay out of. Let's see who's going to play up to this. We go last and so we get to see basically everyone play before our turn. Which is nice. Blue lo or white looks like he wants to take over this region. White wants this region. So we probably should get out of the way here. There's a four stack down here, so we probably shouldn't go in that way. I think what we'll do is we'll go through purple and try to make it to this region right here, this red region. Before uh, I get blocked in here. But we do need to for sure keep this position alive down here. This bottom position, we'll try to keep this position and this uh, upper position if we can. I think this upper one and this bottom one are going to be tough to hold, especially with uh, purple here. Purple wanting this. White looked like he wanted this. At least that's where he played on his turn here. <laughs> Pink. 
<laughs> Trying to take out my three stack, getting bad dice. That's what pink gets for blitz to me. What was that? A five on three or a four on three? Four on three, and he lost it. About time I didn't get. Uh, I lose a three a three stack immediately. All right, we'll put uh, two troops there on this purple stack. We'll attack here and try to group whatever survives. Put it on there. And then we'll put our rest of our troops. Put the rest of our troops right... Oh, man. Is red going to be the one to play up here? Okay, red's going to be the one we have to worry about. All right, this three should survive. We can also fortify our two under our three. We get five troops. What the heck? That's actually a lot. What if we put uh, the rest here since uh, pink kind of wrecked it? I could have attacked that big region, but I do like that big region opens. Oh my gosh, we don't have anything to fortify. All right, then we'll just uh, fortify this two under here. We lost it. No one holds above 12, red holds 11. I hope blue doesn't kill us. I don't know if blue wants this region. Most of blue's troops are in this region, so I don't know if blue is fighting for that or if he was trying to uh, tell me to get out of here. I, I can't get out. At least I want to stay in here, so I'm not going to attack this pink piece. I was going to attack this pink piece, so pink lost his position, but um, if blue is going to kill us all, I'll just leave pink in here and let blue take it out. But I think on our next turn, we definitely need to put a lot of troops on this guy. I do not want to lose this. We have a four stack, and that's kind of weak. We'll put all three of our troops right here. Um, I might attack with my five stack to group up my three. I'm not going to attack with my three stacks. I want to guarantee I get it, because a three and one's not 100%. Oh, we got a And then I need to start fortifying this four stack and try to get it out of uh, Red's way. Out of this um this blue region ideally i would want to go through this two stack into this one right here or i can fortify downwards and go through uh pink stack into now if i can go through here i want to go through here because that's less troops i have to go through Right. Why is Red gonna fight up here? Oh, is Red a good player? Red is a newer player, but he has multiple positions. I kind of like Red's positions. What if we took Red out of his bottom position? Nice, we got good rolls. And we will play to right here. So that way I don't play to here touching a uh, uh, blues nine stack. But I, I still don't have a way out of here. I'm actually stuck in here. Oh, that, well, that was kind of a bad roll. I think he lost a bit there. It was almost a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> you know, blue isn't making this easy. I don't know if blue is telling me to get out. I, I think what we'll have to do is we'll just have to combine this. If blue wants this region, I'll, I'll, I'll attack these ones up here and we'll group up onto my four stack. And then we'll have two regions. Even though we go fifth, I really would like three regions. 
I I don't know what Blue's motive is and what he wants. We can make a guess based off of his rank. He loses one fifth of the or he he only won one fifth of the time. Uh, he has twenty seven hours. He probably plays a lot of fixed. I'm gonna say if this guy plays a lot of fixed, we do not want to play next to Blue. I think Blue feels like he has a lot of power with that 12, and I don't want to lose a 6 stack. Or this guy wanted to hold a plus 6 region. Oh, red. Yeah, no, I was going to take out these red pieces, but red is kind of weak at the moment. I mean, he's not like super weak. I, I'm similar in troops to red, but I would be taking out four more troops and that would put him down kind of low. Oh, wow. They both lost two. Red's not going to give up out of here. All right, five four, five four. We'll put everything on this six on our next turn, and then we'll just attack, and whatever is left, we'll put onto our four stack, and then uh, see how it goes from there. All right, now let's see if Blue takes out everything in this uh, middle position. I, I don't know if that's Blue's plan. I'm just guessing that's Blue's plan. I don't know why he would invest all these uh, these troops into that region if he wasn't going to take it over. I love this map. Scotland versus Ireland versus England. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure what Blue's doing. Uh, he just stopped attacking. I, I thought uh, he had a plan here. Unless he's hesitant on taking this plan through. Did I just actually pull out of here for no reason? Because if Blue's gonna bot out, I would put troops here and take out pink. I will take out this pink piece and hide down here if I can. Gotta find out who will lose the most... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Blue's a bot. Blue has botted out. I, I definitely don't want to play next to a bot. Because I think a bot will go for this region. I think this uh, bot will carry out Blue's, Blue's wishes. White's going to take out purple. Ooh, what if we play to here? We have a stack that touches purple. White takes out this purple. We use this nine stack to take out the rest of purple. Purple's gonna stop white. Yo, Rose, thank you for the follow. Oh, pink is turning in early here. Pink is going to be the first turn in. I don't know about that. Pink getting the fourth turn in. Pink is not in a bad situation. I don't think they needed to turn in this early. But I think they wanted to kick out uh, red uh, as soon as they can. Meaning I need to quickly get out of here before uh, I get blocked in here. I need to go through this white stack and go right into this red stack where it's not in this region. Because if this uh, 7 gets blocked in from someone defending it, uh, my, my 7 is useless. I, I can't do anything with my 7 if I have to go through pink. And I don't want to go for pink for an elimination. Go through white. White? Oh, actually white is like a straight line. We go straight down this line here. Easy takeout. White's a target. Purple might be be a target if uh, white's crazy uh what do we need we'll put uh, two troops here we'll go to this red piece put the rest right there
Oh my gosh, we actually lost a lot. I need to put a lot of troops here now. I need more troops here. But I am bringing my two stacks together. You know, my stacks are far away, but they're they're connected by a bunch of ones, so it doesn't really push them that far away from each other. It's very easy to take out both of my stacks. I wouldn't say my position is the best, but um, I don't think we are the weakest at the moment. Pink is not a target. Purple... Uh... I don't know about purple. I, I'm leaning more towards white as being a target. As long as white doesn't kill us. This 14 stack, I, I highly doubt he's going to wipe out my, my 10 stack. If he wipes out my 10 stack, it's 100% loss. There's no shot that we win this. What about red? Oh, what about red? Oh, if pink... Pink was being aggressive here. If pink wipes out these red stacks, red is definitely a target. Because red's already down to 16, he wipes out uh, these these right here. 3, 6, 9, 11. 10. 10 troops. 10 troops right there. Red has a bunch of ones down here. I think a long time ago I said I was going to take out these red pieces, and I'm, I'm still considering it. Maybe we will take out those red pieces. Those are easy attacks. Those are ones. Um, I shouldn't lose a lot attacking those one stacks. Pink is going to attack the top half, the... The majority of reds. And pick up <laughs> no way. Alright, how do we take out red and white? We can attack red this way, or if we take out white, we go down here. We split right here. We would take out red. We had to go through here. Red's pulling out. Okay. Red is going to pull out. So how do I pull in to red if I want to kill him? I have to go through these stacks. Yeah, I think it's still doable. So what is the purpose of this stack that I have right here? Do we not? I, I don't want to touch white. I don't know what white's plan is, but if I were to take out white, I can still take out white going through red, so... It's not like we're blocked from taking out white. We get five cards, we get a plus two on our seven. A plus two on our seven, so I think that's useful. Oh, blue. Blue. Blue is gonna wipe everyone out. Red is not in a good position. Because uh, you don't want to mess around with a bot. My bad. I had to go grab the free ice cream. Did we lose the reverse game? We won that, the guy. I did win that game. We actually uh, took out almost everyone. I mean, we did take out... I think we took out every player that game. Purple white blue i get the max turn in everyone has turned in except for me so i get the max turn in all right can we path out white because white is really really easy to take out here we get a 15 turn in we put everything on our nine stack oh no wait what we take out red right i, I want to see what red has at his turn he gets uh 12 plus 3 so he gets 15 15 troops unless he has a plus two he could have 17 oh my college cafeteria closes at nine so i had to grab the soft served quick <laughs> they give away free ice cream at your college pretty cool i've never heard of that yo play are the rules to this game different from the board game um I would say they're roughly the same, but I think there might be minor differences in the codes. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty confident uh, the developers coded it where you get a set on three. Uh, the percentage of having a set on three is different in small maps versus big maps. Um, I think that's the difference between the board game and this game. And I guess blitzing. Uh, you obviously don't have blitzing in real life, so... Blitzing is another uh, difference between the board game 
So the game I'm playing right now is definitely not the same as the board game because I'm playing Blitzing. Or not, it's not true random. The board game is true random, but we're playing a uh, Blitz mode. Meaning I have guarantees. I have a hundred percent guarantee to take out stacks. Wait, you can blitz on board game, right? Uh, no, not on the board game. Uh, blitzing is um is something exclusive to the Steam game or the the Risk Online game here. What in the world is Red doing? Wait, wait. Okay, wait. I I need to figure out what I'm doing here because I think Red is throwing. Red just threw the game to take over this region? I used my 7 stack to take out everything? What, what did Red just do? He just actually fed pink over to us and then I'll kill Red. I think we could take out the whole lobby right here. What? Alright. Um, five, we need at least, uh, 13, so we do 15, right? 14, 13, 12. Oh, wait, that's, that's mega overkill. That's only a five. Mega overkill. We take out red too. We kill reds, and then I want to kill white after we kill reds. We get a wild card plus 20. We can take out that seven. We take out reds. Uh, this might be overkill to put all this up here, but we'll do it just so I don't mess up. Uh, we cannot loop back around, so we'll just put everything up in here. Now I think we can take out white on three cards. Still, we hold on to our wild cards. And we take out blue. Ah, uh, we, we need to take out purple, actually. I That's really unlucky. I need to take out everyone before the bot, but... <laughs> two wild cards? Oh, we're just, oh, I didn't have to use that other wild cards. But we'll put uh, four here. We'll take out the rest of purple because I know blue's a bot. Six, seven. Seven on four is not a hundred, so I hope it happens. Uh, we'll put we'll put eight. Oh gosh, did I mess up? Oh oh. No, we don't get it. Ah, we don't get it. Whatever. That's fine. If you blitz on the board game, you're not playing it right. <laughs> yes. If you blitz the board game, you're definitely not playing it right. Yeah, the odds of being able to trade in cards are higher on small maps. Yeah, that. so I think that's the difference between the board game and here. And we have our wild card, so GG's purple. Hey, we can give purple second place now if purple didn't leave. I didn't know what blitzing is. Basically, blitzing is cutting off the extreme edge of true random. So when I do a blitz on a 4v1, that's 100%. But in true random, anything is possible. So 4v1 is not guaranteed. But in blitz mode, it's guaranteed. I will never lose a 4v1 in blitz mode. All right, purple. I would have gave purple a better spot if he stayed in. We'll take out purple next. Yo, blue cast with the large XP stake. Oh, is purple gonna stay? I'll give purple second. I think it's easy to take out blue. Even if blue has a no, oh, no way, blue can't turn in. I'll let purple turn in on four cards. We'll give him a shot. Uh, 7, 12, 13, 32, 45. Yeah, I, I think we can do this. 
and then we'll put the rest right oh gosh i almost missed that blue piece i'm glad i, I looked down there because i didn't see that blue piece down there purple can't blitz on board game there's always a chance to lose your entire army to one stack for sure oh purple having a said he's really gonna draw this out is he fair you know i think that's fine if purple draws it out as long as he doesn't bot out it's never over i can still mess up my pathing give purple a shot Okay, he's gonna go for the region breaks and hold the region. <laughs> you know, whatever. He, he can do it. I guess if that's the play he wants. He doesn't seem to be attacking fast. I guess that's his best shot. Go for a region hold. Go for his region and then break all mine. Alright, let's look at our pathing. Take out this, go through here, path down. Oh, I, I briefly looked at it. We don't have a set? What? We actually don't have a set, guys. No set on four cards, purple. Come on. I, I hope purple doesn't think I'm like uh, trying to draw this out. I really didn't have a set here to turn in. We had two soldiers and two cannons. All right, purple. I, I think I should have taken out purple early. I didn't know he was going to draw out this and these turns like this. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. He's just uh, waiting out the inevitable here. He's going to be eliminated. You know, this is what I get for letting purple get second place. I try to be nice here and he's gonna stall. <laughs> All right, did he bot out? I really don't care what he did. All right, what is this? 11. GG's. But 60 v one is statistically unlikely. Yeah, statistically, it probably is unlikely. Blue's a beginner, everyone's a beginner. Every Oh my gosh, why do we reverse all these beginners? Let's, uh, let's increase the min rank here because I'm actually getting rooms full of beginners here. What is another fun map? Mm. Turkey? We'll try Turkey with intermediates. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in one second, guys.
All right, we got one player. One player. I, I think a lot of it has to do with um, me increasing the min rank to intermediates. That's why I usually play with just with beginners, because it's a lot faster to fill up these lobbies. I mean, it would be nice to play with uh, intermediates and up, but... Yo, BR Storm, how we doing tonight? We are doing good. We won both of our games. We won... Uh, what did we play today? We did Reverse Worlds. We won that. And we just played um, Britannia Advanced. And we won that. What stream avatar troops? That is a currency to get um, un unlock new avatars for these uh, characters right here. You can unlock different characters with the stream avatars. Or stream avatar troops. Yeah, yeah, you would you would use the extension below in the about section of my stream. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> that was loud. It's on my ends. Yo, thank you for the follow as goats got the boy. Much appreciated. I never noticed those before. They are kind of tiny, so it's a little harder to see them, but. Uh, they are there if anyone ever cared to change it. Dump truck with the rehydrates. Bishop, didn't we just play Bishop today? I'm I'm pretty confident we played Bishop and he was res. They were res when we played them. I don't know if they were in our last game. But I think they were in our reverse world game. Ooh, mother trucker, what's good? What's up? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about ready to turn these off to uh, beginners. Even though I don't want to play a lobby full of beginners, I, I just want to play a game. If any of these guys leave, we'll, uh, we'll switch it up. We'll switch up the the min rank here. What are we playing on Turkey? Turkey. I think Turkey's a, a kind of popular map. I think a lot of people would play Turkey. Probably a lot of beginners would play Turkey. If we get two more players, I'll just end a bot here. We'll play uh, five players and a bot if uh, we get two more. I had classes all day long. I'm so tired. I can't even think straight. <laughs> what were the hard classes? Like uh, math classes or something? Classes all day long is kind of brutal. This guy from Isle of Man. <laughs> yeah, this blue player. I remember doing calculus. Calculus was my hardest classes. Probably the only class I failed was calculus. That was that was a toughie. Calculus one, I think. I'm in college for computer engineering. Nice storm. I did uh, computer science. And I, I'm going to assume you're probably going to be taking uh, the same classes I, I roughly took then. <laughs> calculus. <laughs> you, I had to take two calculuses. Calculus 1 and Calculus 2. Uh, I think I passed Calculus 1. But when I took Calculus 2, I failed it and had to retake it. 
I'm doing electrical engineering right now. Now there's a lot of engineers in here. I wonder if engineers are just attracted to risk. I feel like a lot of people that I talk with are, are all engineers. I have to take four, man. I'm in calculus two right now. Oh my gosh, you have to take four calculus classes? That's, uh, I didn't even know it went that high. How much calculus can you learn? All right, forget this. We're switching them. We're, we're changing to the min rank, beginners. I thought we could get a little bit better lobby, but it doesn't look like any um, anyone else plays other than beginners. Nope, I'm a microbiology major. Wow, nice. A microbiology. I've never um, heard of that before. But biology does seem a little interesting. Kelk 2 was rough. <laughs> Kelk 2. <laughs> Kelk 2, yeah, it definitely was rough. Brazilian college is hardcore, man. <laughs> Yikes. That's, uh, that's tough. I don't know if I can endure four calculus classes. I was done. I was done after calculus too. I was glad, you know, I'm like, I'm glad to see like, you could just check it off. Like, boom, you got calculus done. And then you go into physics. I don't remember how hard physics was, but I would say physics was somewhere in the hard range. Risk is a good brain exercise and it's fun. Yeah, I guess it is uh, a good brain exercise. Um, but I feel like, uh, when you're playing beginners, you don't have to use your brain too much there. Maybe, do you guys want, we can always play, um, no, you guys just said you were taking classes. We could do a community game, but you said you were tired. Unless anyone else wanted to do it. No one wants to play Turkey. We'll do something else. Red stands for it. It's a pretty interesting map. Auto progressive fog up blizzards off ranks. Yes, we got a player. Monty the Elder. All right. I can't right now. All right, no problem. Then maybe we won't set up a community game. I'm toasted. Oh my gosh, you guys are all toasted and roasted today from school and whatnot. <laughs> classes plus work oh yeah I, I know that you do classes work I actually I think uh, I had work and then classes before I would work in the morning and take classes at night I, I did kind of like the night classes a little bit um Oh, Harper Leather. We definitely played this player before. I think Harper Leather is a master, if not an expert. They're an expert or a master when we play them. Emphasis on roasted for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can roast this lobby. Uh, where are, oh my gosh, this is the third time in a row we've gone fifth. The three games we played today, we've gone fifth every single time. Not that I'm opposed to fifth, but you know, it'd be nice to switch up the rankings a bit, or the positions a bit. We're fifth, we're orange, we have positions in all sectors except for this sector up here. They're, they're not gonna play. Did they bot out or something? They're not even uh, clicking on anything. Alright, I feel targeted. No, not really. I don't feel targeted, but... Um, why why did they have to go right there? They blocked in my force stack. Oof. Taking out Harper right here. Easy shots. We're taking purple out of this region for uh, making a mistake like that. Blue's a bot. Blue's not a bot. Blue's a good player. They attacked fast. That was a fast attack. Okay. I do not believe this is a, a five hour player. I think this guy's an alt account or. No, definitely an alt account. I think Blue's an alt account for sure. 
Not that I'm opposed to fit, but I'm opposed to fit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, but yeah, I would prefer something other. I'm liking these kind of maps. These maps are kind of nice. A smurf. I we'll see. We'll see on Blue's next turn, but I'm pretty confident uh, Blue's attack right down here was a fast attack. Um, I highly doubt someone with five hours knows how to fast attack. Not that it's impossible to know how to fast attack, but I doubt it. All right, we have some ones in here. I don't. Maybe we'll put one troop in here. What do we have? We get a nine, so we get five, five troops on our turn. We get five troops on our turn. I don't want to like heavily defend all, all these sectors. Um, this, this guy can be combined onto our two. I don't uh, think it's gonna survive long. Oh my gosh! And even Red just attacked fast. Unless I'm just seeing things, I'm very pretty sure that was a fast attack. I mean, I'm a novice, but I clap people just because I watch your streams and learn stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess uh, you, you people that watch streams would know how to uh, attack fast, or at least strategize a little bit better. All right, we're taking purple out of here. Oof. I'm liking this in here. We'll, we'll fortify this just a little bit. Hope that purple doesn't take us out. And uh, we'll uh, we'll attack into this red piece. Who's blue? Blue's the, the danger. The guy we have to watch out for. Uh, hopefully blue doesn't kill us here. Hopefully we don't lose this two stack. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. We'll pull out of here. So that way we have something to use uh, with this three set. We can attack one of these twos or something. Oh, rip blue. Rip blue. Wait, why, why was blue laughing? That true random stuff on Escape ZZ stream yesterday was uh, fun too. True random is fun. I, um, I underestimated true random. Uh... I, I actually thought Sharana was going to be way different, but um, it, it's still roughly uh, the same concept that I use. It's just a little... Uh, the extreme ends are there, and I think I was hoping the extreme ends would happen more often than they did. Um, I would definitely love to play uh, True Random again um, by playing a different strategy. All right, blue. Let's see it. Oh yeah, no, no, blue. <laughs> blue just took out our position. <laughs> blue attack fast. Any place is fast. I think we need to watch out for the Smurf here. Unless there's someone in my chats, but uh, I think they're a Smurf. Who's yellow? We get a plus two right here. We get a plus two right here. I don't know about this. Oh, well, rip that. Rip that plus two. I don't get that anymore. Any uh, snipey snipers? Well, I don't know if there's any snipey snipers, but um, definitely someone with experience in this lobby. And especially because I played purple a lot. You know, purple, I, I'm familiar with purple um they're not a stream sniper they just play risk a lot they're in my games at least once a week rip plus two rip my plus two and my two stack all right blue's a sniper i think we can confirm blue's a sniper or something maybe we can but he sure makes it look like he's a sniper. So we're gonna kill Blue out of here. And we actually get bad rolls. And purple is gonna try to fight us. I do not want to lose a five stack here. 
Hey, we get a plus two on this region. That's nice. Get a plus two right there. Um, this three stack has to move. We have to do something with this three stack, otherwise we lose it. If I could maybe push it down, push it down here. Oh, no way. I, I don't. Oh, I can just loop around. I can loop around right here and attack uh, this blue stack and go into here. What I really want is to come into these rooms. I feel like these rooms are kind of strong. Okay. Uh, that was a suicide, without a doubt. And he blitzed our five stack and won that. All right, I'm not gonna fortify this one stack. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna lose this purple, uh, this orange stack to purple. Pink is gonna hold this region. Uh, how do we do this? Blue just blitzed everything he had, but he has a lot of ones. Um, I don't know if blue just bought it out or something. We attack into here, we take out these, reds, and yellow. Glad to see. But I think we need to make sure we don't touch blue anymore. Because I think blue just gave up on the game. There's no way blue has a shot at this game uh, after he blitzed like that. Unless he manages to weaken me to kill me somehow. Oh man, he's going to lose this position up here to red. Red takes out this. Um, I take out this. I could even take out this. I'm not... <sighs> but it would st it would benefit me, so I don't touch yellow. But, uh... No, wait, I'm, I'm moving this guy anyways, so we're cool. We'll move this guy anyways. And we can put pink down. Pink's not there anymore. <laughs> Yo, play, you're getting ganged on. I am getting ganged on, but we can still try to uh, make this work somehow. We get a plus two right here. Not that it's, uh, this plus two does a lot, but it, it's still something. He's always getting ganged on. Everyone's out to get me. It's just a strategy, the kill Yo, play strategy. I hear a lot of people going around with this strategy. I, I've never heard of it. I've never invented it, but um, people seem to like the kill your play strats. What's this purple doing? Blitzing these. Uh, what did he just blitz? A 2v1? Oh my gosh, he doesn't even go for a card? <laughs> Blue. <laughs> All right, blue. What's our cards? We're at three cards. Blue goes second. He gets the second turn in. We go fifth. We get the fifth turn in. That's a plus. I think getting the fifth turn in is definitely a good, uh, good thing for us. And it might even help us take out blue for an elimination. If we were going to aim to take out blue for an elimination. The kill your play strat is one of the best strats to winning a game of risk. Yeah, I guess that's the only way. If you kill me, then I guess I can't win. <laughs> There's a lot of weird stuff happening in this game. There is a lot of weird stuff happening in this game. Purple? <laughs> what the heck? How did purple get so weak? You know, blue targeted me, but blue suicided. And that's why he's at 12, but purple... I actually have no idea how purple got down to 13 troops. He's almost doing as bad as blue is. I'm pretty sure purple's an expert or a master too. Okay. Uh, where's all the blue pieces? Let's try not to lose this side. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm attacking with. We'll attack uh, this room. And we get it, thank goodness.
I hope red doesn't kill us because I put a four stack here. I want to attack into here if I can't. Oh, come on, yellow. Why, why my, my stack? Why would, oh, yellow wants his region I'm in. Okay, that's, that's fine. I, I wasn't paying attention to yellow, actually. <laughs> we still have 18 troops. That's still something. It's not like uh, we're, we're mega weak, but we're, we're not doing so hot. All right, I'm with Yo, Malikid with the five tier one subs. Let's go. Gifted Nuclear, Statement Co., The Guy, Untraveling Maddie, and I can't think of a Twitch name. Much appreciated, man. Yo, what's up, Nian? Good evening, noobs. Good evening. Oh, thank you for another tier one sub. Oh my gosh that's awesome how how are you uh doing let's go glad to see you on yes i i'm glad to be on today um we were doing really well until blue just straight up tried killing us um okay so pink is gonna break uh right here Pink is breaking red. Pink holds this whole center of the board. No problem, y'all. How do you do yo-yo? How do you do yo-yo? What? How do you do yo-yo? I am doing good if that's what you meant. What are you asking me? How do I do? If you free for all, do you get uh, last place? Oh my gosh. Another tier one sub? The dump truck? Uh, what, I'm not even thinking about what our play is here. Oh, okay. Red's gonna just straight up kill our stack. Sick. Alright, we'll attack this and, uh... I guess we'll just chill here. Yo, what the heck? Another tier 1 sub? Two more tier subs. The dump truck and granular fertilizer. Another tier 1 sub? What the heck? To Sunless Silver? You're, you're just straight up gifting everyone in chat a tier 1 sub here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Be jacked, son. <laughs> Thank you for another gifted tier 1 sub. Oh gosh, and purple's gonna kill us. I'm actually gonna lose this game. But dozer with another tier one sub. Thank you, uh, Malika. These old peats. What the heck? Going up to 25 gifted subs? M144. Thank you for another sub, uh, uh, Malika. Jeez. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> another gifted tier one sub to. Hamans Hazan G L oh, and Zachary Ghost Raids are uh, Zachary Ghost Blade with the raids of two. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> yo, be Jack Side. <laughs> Wait, this guy was actually in my chat. I thought this was a random person you gifted. <laughs> Welcome, Turtle Viper Raids. Yo, what's up, Gandolius? Yeah, I thought that I thought that was a random guy. How is this stream going? Uh, Zachary, the stream is going great so far. We won our first two games. Uh, we got, I feel like we got targeted hard on this game. I think Blue is a stream sniper or just uh, someone that's throwing. And that's how you flex on shads. All right, what's our turn? We get five cards here. I kind of lost focus on my game here. Uh... What are we gonna do? Kill blue? What if we just straight up kill blue? Blue suicided us. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Or we kill purple. Purple has five cards to get the lowest turn in. Right, we'll put uh, seven, eight troops here. We'll attack right here. Try to survive at least. And we get a plus two right there. 
All right, purple, you attack my five stack, I kill him right here. Did the stream crash? Uh, did the stream crash, guys? I don't think the stream crashed. Throwing shade on B Jack's son and the lurkers. <laughs> I'm getting picked apart here. Oh, wait, he jacked. What do, you, what do you mean you're getting picked apart here? I thought you were talking about you're getting picked apart in this game here. I'm like, you're the stream sniper. You're blue. But um, I, I think I was jumping the gun here soon. <laughs> he's off. He's much. I really appreciate that. Um, I like it with the 25 gifted tier one subs. That's actually insane. Um, I, I don't think I really focused on the game here for the past five minutes, so I'm not uh, sure what we're going to strategize. Do we have a set on three? Can we kill blue? Oh, okay. We do have a set on three. We can kill purple, right? What does purple have? 37? Oh, okay. Purple signed his death wish. Purple's out. CR round guys, Zachary's game kept me awake until 4 a.m. Yo, did you win the game at least, uh, Zachary? A player emotes once, he's a sniper. <laughs> he, he did emote just once, he spammed the emotes. I had to actually uh, turn off his, his thing here. Nice. He won by getting suicided. Oh, really? He won by someone suiciding on him there? Alright, purple has, uh... This stack right here that I can't take out. If I were to take out purple and I put everything on here, I get a 20 turn. We get 33. 33. No way. Yeah, there's no way I can kill purple. Is there a way to kill blue? Oh, what if there was a way to kill blue? We go through these ones, through this seven. Uh, through this, we take them out here. We have this stack to take them out here. We do a couple splits. He has 21. I get a 25 turn in. Oh my gosh. It's very tempting to take these guys out, actually. The turn in's 25. I think he uh, he laughed when yellow punched four and one with something like a six. Oh, wait a second. Yellow is down to 16, but I, I can't... Uh... I can't kill yellow because I have to go through red and blue. Man, I can't take him out. I did not spam. Uh, what's going on here? I'm uh, just trying to watch some risk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about, uh, B Jacked? Is someone uh, saying that you spammed? Blue. 28. Can I kill blue or purple? I really want to kill blue, honestly. What if I took him out right here? He has four cards. 15, 8, 6. 9. Oh, oh gosh. Nah, I, I don't think I can kill blue, actually. Maybe I could kill blue. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible here. I, I don't know what purple is going to do either. I hope purple doesn't get in my way here. If I put my stack right there against pink, he probably would have killed me. Try to kill me. Blue doesn't deserve the L since y'all think it's me. <laughs> no, no. No, B. Jackson, I don't think it's you. Unless you're going to claim it's you, then I'll kill him. No, nah, no, no, that's fine. I, I was just have a, I was focusing on blue because blue suicided at this the start of the game. I thought uh, he was throwing the game just to kill me, but I don't think he is now. Unless blue is um, that was just a, a genuine strat. Blue is big brain that I can't see. I can't see what blue's doing.
The guy? Oh, it's you? Okay, you guys are all him. Okay. <laughs> you guys are all blue here. Well, and blue had a set too. I I'm sure blue's gonna fortify in here without a doubt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's gonna put a 35 in there. You're blue? Oh, okay, okay. You're blue too, Neon. It's true, I am pink. Zachary's pink in this game. There's no way he's gonna blitz my... Oh, he's taking out reds. Guys, based off of this gameplay, do you really think this guy has five hours? There is no shot. Blue has five hours in this game. <laughs> Is he killing me next? It's true, I'm orange. He's taking out yellow? Wait, what? This guy's crazy. I think I should have killed blue. Blue seems like a real threat here. Oh, oh, does blue not have enough time? He has to go faster. Blue is actually gonna kill me next. I'm definitely the weakest, right? Purple? No, yeah, I have the least. Oh, pink has the least. Jeez. Blue ends what? On four cards? Well, rip. Rip. We're all dead. Alright, he's aiming for pink next. I, I think we... If, if blue gives us second place, I'll be happy with that. Look at me wrist sniping. Oh yeah, look at these wrist snipes here. Targeting the highest stats is a strat, unfortunately. <laughs> the highest strats, or the highest stats. Blue has the lowest stats in this game. Blue just mopped the floor. Blue, uh, Blue's winning. And if we don't all attack blue, we're all dead. Actually, blue's the only one with a set. I have one card. Um, I'm definitely not touching purple here. Oh, he bought it out. <laughs> Blue... <laughs> Blue scared pink off. <laughs> Alright, I have to do this where I don't... Oh, wait, well, it's already touched. Oh, gosh. I hope, uh... Purple doesn't try to kill me. He's just too scary. Yeah, uh, blue is a little scary. Not gonna lie. Even if he doesn't have a set here. Oh, purple's gonna fight blue. Interesting. Do you think we'll get lucky? Do you think we'll have a set on three? And do you think we'll survive with three cards? Or will blue kill us before then? Because we have less than purple. I think after pink comes me and I get third place and I'm almost positive blue's a novice or an inter beginner and I'm gonna lose a lot of ranking points to someone that's actually a grandmaster yeah he goes through all of pink right Oh, is he going to do this in time? Oh, he's going kind of... Oh, he's not going to do it. Oh, he's going to wait until they have more cards. Oof. This is tough. I, I don't know what to play. I don't think there's any plays here. Yeah, purple is going to break us. Purple is going to break us and I don't know what to do.
kill pink kill pink pink has 30 troops and i have a 25 stat oh oh wait a second why didn't i kill pink oh my gosh i should have killed pink i i could have taken him out i could have killed pink and then tried to take out purple after purple should kill pink purple has the same opportunity that i have right here purple used that 24 stack take out pink and this 40 stack to come around oh man me and purple i think me and purple missed an opportunity here oh you're right blue is blocking him he has an 83 stack you're right you're right if you could uh go back and kill blue would you uh yes i think i would have gone back you know i i don't know i'm very confused on blue i feel like blue is someone that probably knows me maybe and that's why he maybe tried to suicide me so i would die i think blue was confident if he suicided into me and i got killed first he wouldn't have to deal with me in the game later in the game all right i think uh right here blue turns in and t uh, kills us next All right, GG's. GG's. We get third place. I guess third place isn't bad against, against this guy. It is very interesting, though. Here, Blue... Before, Blue is a novice. No, Blue is definitely on a novice account or a beginner account. You can come back, wait. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> what am I coming back from? I can't come back from anything here. At least you don't lose ranking, right? Yeah, right? At least I don't lose rank into a novice. Imagine losing to a novice like this. No, we're definitely losing ranking here for sure. All right, let's see it. What's this guy's rank? Yeah. Blue. You don't lose rank as third place. Uh, it depends on the rankings. <laughs> no, I definitely lost ranking here. Oh, what? Oh, wait a second. Yellow was a grand master. Blue was a beginner, but we all know blue was a grand master too. Um, I'm pretty sure I lost ranking because I lost to an intermediate and a beginner. Uh, even though I got third place, I lost to two people that were a lot lower than my ranking. So I think uh, we might have cut even or we lost. That's 1,200. I think we were at 1,183 uh, before that game started. Um, so I think we went down 20 ranks. Yellow was not playing like a grandmaster. Yeah, you're right. I actually don't even remember what Yellow did that game. If you used to uh, use this runner, do you lose based on the number? Of eliminated players or it counts you as last place um it depends on what place your bot finishes in if you bot out if you surrender uh you get the finishing position of your bots all right that was that was an interesting game could i go back to kill blue i think i i would have tried to kill blue maybe the reason I was looking at blue was because blue was looking at me. And I, I knew something was off there. Alright, let's give Spaceport a shot. Finishing position of the position. <laughs> yeah, so like, um, if I just bought it out there, if I surrendered and I got uh, eliminated in third, I would get uh, third place still, even though I surrendered. I wouldn't get last place because I left the game. Certified Hood Classic. <laughs> you know, let's look at it this way. I thought Blue's suicide, but he still won the game, which is... I, I guess I can't say Blue's suicide if he still won. Is someone that suicides shouldn't have the chance to win.
I'm trying to think on how uh, blue attacking me helped him. Because when they attacked everything I had, uh, I had they had 10 troops. They were the weakest player, but they still somehow won that game. Do you like sushi? Uh, I recently have tried sushi, and sushi isn't that bad. I do like sushi a bit. I think blue hit your 5 because uh, he had no other territories to take. He had definitely an ult, but I don't think it was a suicide. He rolled his 3v1 and a 2v1 before and lost them. Oh, okay, okay. That's what he did. I seen him attack like three territories really quick. I thought he was throwing the game. He was down to like 10 troops. He tried. So you're saying he tried attacking my five stack, but then he rolled a 3v1 and a 2v1. That's what I remember was something like going really fast. This map will take years. Uh, this map will not take years. Usually this, this map is uh, not that long. This takes a long time in fixed games. A fixed game or a. Uh, a capitals game this takes years sushi is great for sure i eat sushi like two times a week really california rolls i'm not familiar with all the different kinds of sushis um i've only had sushi like two or three times in the past year but uh sushi is nice i i have to go with people that know sushi because if I look at a bunch of different sushi, I have no idea what I'm eating. So I have to get um, someone's opinion on if uh, what I'm looking at is good or not. He rolls your five last after losing the other two rolls. All right, so maybe uh, Blue wasn't throwing, but it was, it was really weird on how he was down to 10 troops. Fair play. Fair play. <clears throat> All right, we got three players, but we cannot get these last two players. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna recognize, I'm gonna memorize that name so I don't get that guy again. Yellow and red killed his other stacks going for uh, consonants. I know purple killed my stack. Purple attacked my five stack, taking over that region. There's sushi in Brazil. Brazil sushi. Shouldn't there be sushi wherever there's fish? <laughs> You're great. <laughs> All right, uh, B Jack Sutton. You are the great player. I'm guessing you're talking about this guy right here. So you were that grandmaster that last game on the Smurf account. Now you got another Smurf account here. So this is B Jacked. This doesn't look like an alt account. We go fourth. We go fourth here. So where do we want to play? Where is green and black going to play? That's uh, that's what we really need to know. Where does green play and where does black play? So we don't make the wrong mistake here. Purple is playing to here. Red's playing to here. Oof. What if we played it here? I played it here before, and I, I see there's a lot of ones here. We can maybe play to this right here. I'm going to guess green or black is definitely playing to here. Um, I think... Okay, white's going to play to here. Yeah, not playing to here. I'll play into here. So we need to kick out green and black. We'll just kick out green. Because black can still get in uh, this way. But we'll kick out red too. And we'll attack slowly. Oh my gosh, these rolls are actually crazy. We're actually losing all of our troops. Um, And we will pull nothing. Wow. We don't really have a lot going around the other side of the board here. Where's their fish? Their sushi noted. Yep, keep it noted, guys. Command center. Command center. This is not command center. Have you seen Squid Game? I have not watched Squid Game, but I've watched a lot of people watching Squid Game. I've seen a lot of clips, a lot of reviews on it, um, but I've never watched it at uh, the actual shows. I've just watched portions of it. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what turn do I shove orange? Uh, you don't shove orange on any turn. Uh, you guys just leave orange alone, and then you let me hold the region. Squid Game is good. I yeah, based off the clips I've seen, I think Squid Game is definitely an interesting uh show there. If I had uh where is uh Squid Game? Is it on Netflix or something? Is Black going for this centerpiece? What is it? What did Green do? I wasn't even looking at Green, but it looks like Green played over to this side. So we're gonna let White hold this. Black is gonna hold the center. I'm gonna go for this. Black doesn't uh, really fortify anything against us, so I don't have to worry. But I do have to worry because Black will take this on his next turn. So I really hope I can take this region before Black takes his region, because I think Black will stop us. I, I don't know if Black and White are gonna possibly team. So I need to watch out for that because uh, B Jack said he was white. White is going to team with black here and they're both going to team me. What is this map? It looks super cool. This is called Spaceport Sigma. I think it uh, was re released maybe a couple months ago. All right, it is on Netflix. All right, I don't have Netflix, but um, I would definitely watch Squid Game if I, if I had Netflix. Oh my gosh, Red. Oh, is Red gonna stop us? I hope White stops him. No, I doubt White's gonna stop him. Is anyone gonna stop me? We do we have 16, so we get five troops. We get an eight stack. We get an eight. Oh my gosh, we get eight troops. We get five troops, we get five on there, we get eight. So seven, six, five, four, three. Oof, we are not going to have any troops to defend with here. This is going to be tough to defend. I need to take this real slow because I don't want anyone to think I'm a threat here. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> no one kill me. Does anyone want to be my neighbor? Kill your play strat. Let's go, guys. No, no, no. Let's not go and let's not do that strat. How many doors are in your house? How many doors are in my house? I don't know. Maybe like... Uh, five? I reckon you have an 18% chance to hold that. You know, Zachary, I don't doubt that. <laughs> I think uh, my chances of holding this is heavily dependent on if uh, black is going to break us but uh if black is more concerned about his centerpiece okay let's say i do hold this should i let black hold the centerpiece or should i make black or should we break black oh my god <laughs> i hope black gets in white's way Is red gonna break us? Sometimes I just like asking off the wall questions. <laughs> I have 11 doors here. Whoa, you have 11 doors. That's actually, uh, that's a lot. All right, black is gonna defend against us. We get more troops than him, or two more from our bonus. Purple's gonna take over this. Oh man, how do we do? What do we do here? If red doesn't break us, do I break black? Okay, let's look at it this way. Black turns in last. Black gets the the biggest turn. Okay, okay, red's gonna break us. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to hold this anyway, guys. So it's cool. I didn't want to- oh wait, he pulled all the way back. He's not gonna break us. He's not gonna continue breaking us? 
break black all day never mind red breaks red broke us but he pulled his seven back how much does red get he gets four three seven uh nine red can still kill us red gets nine troops on this turn assuming that black isn't gonna break us after i just said i was gonna break black I'm hoping black isn't in my chat. Uh, yeah, no hard feelings, man. I wasn't. I totally wasn't gonna break you, so <laughs> don't break us. <laughs> oh, but red is down to 15, so he gets one. So one, three, four, four, eight. He gets eight troops on his turn. Eight on one is nine. A nine on six is not a hundred, but it's pretty close to 100. I think uh, it's like somewhere in the 80s. I think red has an 80% shot at breaking us again. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy. I'm, I'm saying, uh, please spare us. Please spare us, black. If black breaks us, I'm out of here. I cannot defend against red and black breaking us. Four on two. Please don't roll it. Oh man, is he gonna roll us? 9v6 is 85%. Oh, okay, I don't like these odds. Because loot not only is that not in our favor, but we also lose a six stack. And I really, really don't want to lose a six here. <laughs> Purple's with 13. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, you know, maybe Red shouldn't focus on me so much and you know worry about the uh, the threat coming from the bottom up here. He's gonna come up and come into red before he comes into me. But I would like to kill red if I can. Storm with a medium F XP apple. Oh, is purple gonna block in his biggest stack? You know, honestly, I don't really think that hurts purple. Given that purple gets uh, the most troops on this board, Blocking in that seven. Okay. All right, we, we cannot fight this. Especially with that four there. Red is gonna stop it. That's fair. Um, and red shouldn't let me hold this, honestly. Red shouldn't let us hold this. Black is gonna let white hold this. Is white gonna let black hold that? That purple corner. I, I don't know what white's doing. Why hasn't white taken this yet? Um, Red can kill us out of here. He can kill us in both regions. Let, let's fight down here. And we'll just pull back so that way if black breaks us, um, it doesn't go through our two stack. Cannot defend against red here. All right, what's our plan then? White has 19. Can we kill whites? We go fourth. We get a 10 turn in, assuming that green or black doesn't turn in. Uh, green has 23. Green also doesn't have a region. I just realized. Green hasn't had a region. Oh, maybe. Maybe we can do something here with green. It's possible. You know, I don't think we can win. Even if we killed green, I don't know if we could honestly recover. But um, I think it's worth a shot because I think green is our best bet. And if green, if we cannot take out green, we could also set up green. So we're not the, uh, the first person to be taken out. Try to fight for like a better position. Because right now, first place isn't looking like uh, it's possible for us. Green has 15, I have 17. We'll put green below 15 then. Oh, purple's gonna do it, right? Please put him down. Take out that green piece. Oh my gosh, he's actually avoiding green. Sick. Green is down. Eight a rip. 
Wait, did, did purple actually just get 18? <laughs> purple got 18? Green is dead and I don't have to do anything about it. I think purple is going to be the one to kill green. Oh yeah, if purple got 18 on that turn, green is most definitely dead on his next turn. Oof, and I, I hope red is the next one after green. What if we... Nah, I, I, I could weaken red, but um, I go purple. We could weaken red uh, technically, and if maybe purple would kill red, but I don't know. We're, we're not going to actively just straight up suicide red. But uh, I think green is going to be the, the first one. Can I take this kill from purple? Is it possible to take green from purple? Hey, let's go white! What is this? It's the, the fourth card now? The fifth card and he finally takes this over? You know, I'm actually going to be surprised if black doesn't break him. Alright, we're putting troops here in the hopes that I can kill green. I don't know if I can kill green. But it is worth a shot. What if we even killed black? Can we kill black? I don't think we can take out black because of how many splits there are. We would have to take out each of these wings right here and I don't think... Uh, for that reason, I don't think we can take out black. But black gets the highest turn in too. Black has 44. Yeah, there's no way I can take him out. Oh. Oh. Black taking out white. Yeah, I hate to see it, white. He was actually... Oh, he was setting up whites. Nice. Interesting. White hasn't turned in yet. Black turns in. I think we can recover here. I think we might have an opportunity here. And I think white's going to turn in and maybe even break him. Alright, let's see if we can capitalize on any uh, any mistakes. And if we can get second place. Or first. We obviously want first place, but... We need to work on getting fifth place first. Purple turns in. He taking out green? If he doesn't take out green, I, I'm probably going to take out green for five cards. I'll definitely... I think I'll take out green, right? He has 17. I get uh, a 12 turn in for taking out green and five cards. Troll green, then white if you can. If I can, yeah, for sure we can try. Wait, white's going to turn in though. White turns in for the eight. He has three cards. Oh my gosh, he's not taking out green. Okay, I think we have some opportunities here. We get the 10 turn in. We take out green. I want to see what red does. Red should take out green, right? Red's taking out green. I, I would expect red to take out green. I was expecting purple to take out green, actually. Oh, that concerns me about red. Red actually knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, go into the purple's 10 stack. Nah, I doubt he would do that. Ah, uh, he's going backwards. He's looking for he's looking for more. He's looking for me next. Or he's looking to take out uh, our positions, uh, black and my positions up here. Do you think I can kill white? White's gonna turn in for the eight. Plus three, they get 11. Uh, they get 11 plus that, 17. I get the 12. Oh, the 12 turn in. What the heck? Wait, am I getting the 15 turn in? I get the 15 turn in here? Oof, white gets 15 troops then. He gets 12 plus 3, so he gets 15 plus 6, 21. I get 15. <laughs> red broke, red broke black for some reason. 
Wait a second. I, I'm not really sure what uh, what Red just did. Why would he not try to kill me? I'm actually confused here. Depends on how much he throws into black. Yeah, we'll have to see. Because uh, Red just broke him. I don't think white needs to break black anymore. Did white bot out? White did not bot out here. Oh my gosh. White's to 21. My turn's next. I get a 15 turn in. We get uh, three horses. Black has 22, white has 21. Black has two cards, white has three cards. Twenty one. Oh, okay, nah. White has twenty one, I have twenty four, and I have to go through black. I cannot I actually can't kill him. But it's what I could do Uh is maybe Okay, black. Is black upset or something? I don't know. Maybe we'll put troops up here or something. There. He's at 12. Well, I can't be that upset. I gave him uh, 12 territories. Oof. The tough situation. I don't think uh, taking out black... So I could have easily made black an easy target, but by making black a harder target, I, I'm still, I think I'm a harder target than black is, so I think, I think white's the easiest, black's the next easiest, and then maybe I'm the next easiest, I hope. I hope that how, uh, that's how it goes. Oh gosh. Attack reds. Purple, what do you do? Purple doesn't have to do anything. Purple has like 500 troops. Purple is just chilling here. He's just gonna let everyone kill each other and then he's gonna try sweep him. Let's see it. Red's not going for me. He's going for white on three cards. Then he goes for black, right? Yo, Yusef. I was gonna say, take black center from the left. Take black center from the left. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if we could have really done much to the black, honestly. Oh. Oh, is he not gonna kill black here? If he doesn't kill black here, I think... Oh. Wait, he doesn't kill black. He might. Oh, I think he just handed black over to us. Oh, I'm sorry, he did it. He blocks us. I cannot take out black. If I had a set on three, I could take out black. But I can't go through this 26 to take him out. I actually, I can't do anything about black. Unlucky. Unlucky. Because I can't do it. Does black have a set? Black, oh my gosh, black doesn't have a set. Uh, red, I hope red doesn't have a set. If red doesn't have a set, and we have a set on four cards, I can kill black here. If purple doesn't. I'll go for black on my turn in. If no one else takes out black here. Oh, please take out black if he's going to take out my seven. Purple is going to lose by uh, failing to use his advantage. Oh, he's going for black. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see uh, this advantage. All right, that leaves me being the next player eliminated here. And I hope... 
He's definitely going to have time to do this. So red kind of protects me. Purple cannot eliminate us because of um, this 26 and this 27. Uh, purple has to go through these big stacks to take out my position inside here. Yo, what's up, Uncle and Traveling Maddie? Mmm. Is purple gonna try killing us? I hope purple sees that he can't kill us right here. Right when I say he does something, right? Right when you say he oh please don't commit to this. A nine on seven? Does he think he's gonna get a nine on seven? Oh my gosh. Reds. Save me. I, I need reds. I'm going to turn in here and go through purple. Purple has three cards. Red has three cards. Oh, red's going to go through purple. I like this strategy. You know, I think I've seen this strategy before. Uh, when you're in a bad position, just attack as much as you can because... Yes, you're in a losing position, but you can make it a lot harder to be eliminated. Taking over a bunch of ones here. Alright, we'll take over ones. And we'll take out purple. Alright, purple. Did I take over enough of the board here? We got 28 territories. Purple can't touch us here. Red can't touch us here. Oh, purple does have a set on three. Oh, he's gonna kick red out? Alright. He's gonna kick red out here. If he's fast, ah, I'm sure he's fast enough. Purple isn't that slow, I don't think. Right? Right? He can take this? Oh, man. He's, he's kind of, kind of close. And he's having awkward pathing. Rip. F in the chat for this guy. Pathing a little weird. This is one, I think I am very comfortable taking this one out. It's a very clean path you can take out without having to splits. Oh, oh, he's not going to kill us. He's going to block in at 32. What? These guys aren't going for my elimination? Oh man, what do you guys think I could have got away with this region bonus right here? I didn't take that, but I think I should have taken that now. Hmm. These guys have sets, I know that. do we play to I'm actually surprised we're we're somewhat hanging in here just kill pink <laughs> what Who, who's pink okay well we'll just kill pink here I think pink uh, isn't in this game but we'll try to kill them all right purple's gonna break our bonus fine oh my gosh he's attacking red Purple is attacking right over attacking me? 
take the right side of the board next turn honestly guys i think uh i think if we just take a bunch of ones at the moment these guys will just attack each other what is purple even doing you could win this is uh these guys are bad these guys are uh these guys are silly purple blocks in his 14 his 32 his 16 purple has the most blocks in um watch is red gonna blitz this too oh uh, red red knows something uh okay fine You know, I, I keep on I should be taking this one right here. I think we could honestly get away with this uh, bonus right here But on the other hand by not holding that bonus, um, I won't be targeted Intentionally, I don't think I think um, these guys are target. I think purple is targeting right because he's holding bonuses I think he would uh, target me if I held a bonus too Red is the bigger threat Red is the bigger threat for sure I think red uh, definitely has a better strat. Purple is just breaking red because he holds bonuses. Will you play Battlefield 2042? Battlefield. I've never played Battlefield, actually. I think uh, I know some people that play Battlefield, but um, I've never tried it. Alright, let's see it, red. Going through purple, nice. Oh, he's going to me? He's gonna kill me? Oh. Oh gosh, red is definitely the threat. If red doesn't kill me, I'm turn. <laughs> no set on four, sick. Yeah, no, I, I didn't need that set on four, anyways. No set on four. I actually can't do anything here. Will you play Risk 2042? What is Risk 2042? Um, Reds? I, I, I think we should go to Reds. Just break all of Reds pieces. But Red cannot get us at the moment. Red has 44. We can risk it. Uh, do we risk it? I know red can't touch us, so maybe we shouldn't. Oh man, I, I don't know if this is the right play. I don't know if this is the right play because I don't know how much red is going to get on his turn here. If red can kill us. But I, I know red won't have a set. So that's why I did that. Please break red. Break red's bonuses. If uh, red can't kill us, I'm throwing everything I have at red. And we'll make sure red's the next one eliminated. A 60 turn in? Oh, we might even be able to kill red. Oh, most definitely. We'll definitely try taking out red. If red doesn't kill us here, I'll aim to eliminate red. Nice. Yeah, I don't think red can take us. 16, no shots. If I unblocked that 39 stack, he probably could have killed us for sure. Uh, without a doubt, he could have killed us. Ah, uh, you hate to see it, Reds. 92. Wait until he gets 3 or 4. You guys think I should wait? Maybe you're right. Maybe we should wait. But I'm going through this 56. He's he's already setting up to kill us. Red is forcing us to kill him. We won't take him out, but uh, we can wait. Oh gosh, bad pathing. Don't look. I didn't get that purple key. 
We're, we're friends, right, Purple? Purple's not gonna break us, right? Do you know White Boy 7 The Street? I, I have no idea who that is. All right, rip reds and purple doesn't break us. And we get a set on three cards to kill purple. Oh my gosh, we might have a shot at uh, coming back from this. I'm not looking, is it bad? Uncle and Trouble and Maddie, we might have a shot here actually. It, it's, it's gonna be a long shot, but I think we have a shot. Because I have a set on three cards to blast uh, purple with. He's first in the risk category right now, you're second. All right, let's see it, Reds. Red gives us three cards. All right, Reds, it's over. He's... Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, you're talking about uh, streaming? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never heard of that guy before. I am second. That's crazy. All right. Uh, we take this guy out. Uh, Ten. Right? That's good. We turn in. We destroy purple. I think purple can do it. Purple's a slow attacker. There's no way purple can kill us. But we just break all of his bonuses. Break that bonus. Take over as many ones as we can. We'll put uh, 16. Oh, he still holds that bonus, but that's fine. We don't get it off. Fine. All right, let's see. I don't think purple can do it. I think we'll actually win this game here. <laughs> 110. <laughs> 110 troops. Nah, no. Purple doesn't know what he's doing. Purple is breaking bonuses, which is the right play. But I think he should be doing a cleaner path here. Um, these splits. Um, I'll be able to survive a lot longer with uh, these splits that he's making. What's our turn in at? 75? Oof. Is he going to block in his big stack? He looks to be playing like a novice. He, he might be playing like a novice, but I think he's also playing... Uh, in a way that he's panicking to attack as many territories as possible. I think he knows that he's slow and he's uh, his uh, pathing is getting sacrificed and he blocks in his 78. Yeah, it's actually over for purple. Uh, we'll put 15 and we'll put the rest in here. We'll put on this too. We'll attack this uh, 14 first, put uh, 22 in here, we don't take it, we can still split, put 8, alright, take this, GG's. Oh, I didn't get it off in time. Yeah, what are you going to do, Purple? He has three cards. Does he have another set here? He might be able to survive if he had another set here. Nah, honestly, this guy doesn't attack fast enough. And we get a 67. All right, we'll just blitz this. He's below 12. 
we pull out a five right there you got this now nice recovery after red screwed you in the start <laughs> yes red screwed us over black held the center but then he started bullying white i'm actually very oh purple's gonna fight it okay i mean i think our bonus we don't have a set so i can't kill him but i think our bonus will be big enough to take over the majority of everything and uh blitz into his big stack here imagine we don't have another set on four cards Ninety six. We have one hundred and eight. I think we get like uh, twenty five troops on our turn. Just uh, a rough number thrown out there. I have no idea what we get. I'm just saying twenty five, because we have seventy five territories. Oh wow! Got a nice barrier right here, so you can't do much. Thirty four. We'll pull this four stack right there. Do we have a set on four cards? We get a wild with cards. Alright, we'll use our wild cards. We'll turn in. We'll end this. Oh. Oh, he doesn't know his splits. That tells me a lot. That tells me this guy's probably an intermediate. I think you might have this. I'm watching now. <laughs> You're watching. <laughs> yes, it, now it's safe to watch. I think we might have this game, possibly. It, it might be a close call, but it's, I think it's possible. Thirty-seven, nice. Um, what do we put? Sixteen overkill it. GG's. Yo, Uncle and Traveling Maddie with the large XP stake. My grandma could attack faster than this guy. <laughs> Wait, was that purple that we just fought? We we played two experts here. Red? Red's the guy giving me issues. And purple, I think we were just fighting purple. Unless it was white. I actually don't remember who we just fought. GG's. We are 1,116. Ooh, I, I want to see. Do you guys think we can do a quick 1v1 here? Quick 1v1s to get a little bit closer to 1k. What if we go to classic 1v1? Or we can do some world domination. We'll do intermediates and up too. Classic manual progressive 60 fog on blizzards on ranked, yes. It was purple. And purple was uh, expert, so we beat an expert. All right. No way. No way. Purple was an expert. Purple. Uh, purple was the one that was constantly breaking red for his bonuses when he should have killed me. I don't know why. Uh, purple. You climbed ninety positions after that. Oh, did we? We climbed ninety. All right, I want to see if we can climb a quick one hundred. We'll do like, you know, two games here. Two or three 1v1s. Against intermediate, so we're not like noob grinding completely. I mean, I guess we're technically versing intermediates, but... 
Intermediates can be good too, especially when they're on a Smurf accounts. Hey, why not? Why don't I just open up to beginners? Because we we seem to get a lot of uh, Smurfs here on beginners accounts. You were like uh, 1,203. What am I now? 1,118 or something? Yeah, so that's about 90. That's pretty good. Are these settings correct? All right, I think these settings are correct. You are so close to 1k. That's cool. Nice work, sir. Thank you. I want to see if we can get uh, to the 1k mark. If we can win our 1v1s. If, I, if I'm losing horribly, uh, <laughs> I guess we won't get to the 1k. But I would like to end it on 1, 1k if we can. Have you played Risk VR? Risk VR? No, I haven't. Can you even play Risk on VR? How do you play Risk on VR? I guess if you had a way to connect uh, a VR to your computer. I'm in, by the way. You're in? Maybe uh, that'd be cool to play Risk VR. All right, we'll play Reds here. Red's premium, Red's a good player. Anyone with premium status is a good player. You wouldn't buy premium unless you were good. There's probably a stream adaptation through VR, but I'm memeing. <laughs> hey, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to see it. Oh. Red. Red's going for Australia? Is that so? Red looks like they're probably an intermediate. We could have taken Siam, but I'd rather not. I go first. Nice. Uh, we'll go here. Have you ever played Counter Risk Global Offensive? No, but I wish they would make like an FPS version of um, Risk. I think playing like a first person shooter with Risk would be kind of interesting. Does he let me have this? No, he doesn't let me have it. Fine. He, he took all of Asia? All right, he can hold Asia. He's he's not going first. <laughs> I can break Asia. Don't make me take this. Oh my gosh, he's gonna make me take it. All right, we're gonna hold these two regions and break. Uh, we're gonna hold these regions, these regions, and then leave his cap blocked in. Assuming that his cap is right here. If his cap is not there... Assuming his cap goes here... Then we'll put all of our troops in Alaska. All of our troops up here. We'll put like... Uh, 7 here just so I can... Sure I can take this. 15 there. Okay, <laughs> he actually got me. There's no way he's gonna play right there. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna play right there. He actually got me good there. <laughs> he's defending this. <laughs> All right, fine.
Well, I have to take 28 territories to put them below 12. If he is smart, he will cap Middle East. The middle of the East. Can he break us? I'm sure he can break us. Oh my gosh, he actually got in crazy rolls right there too. He's gonna play the Kimchaka. Kimchaka. Ah, he doesn't get a three on one. Thank goodness he got a bad roll. Oh, oh, is he not going to put anything on his capital? Oh, he, he pulled off. He pulled 5 off of a 13, so 5 minus 13 is 8. He has 8 on his capital right now. 7. What if we put uh, 5 here? 8 here, take Australia. He doesn't hold any bonuses. Is it gonna break he has a lot of pressure here split pressure he gets six troops i have 25 he had 14 territories why didn't you take central america and force him to lock his cap and break uh, north america south america take central america force him to block his cap his cap's already locked to break North America, South America. I mean, he's already locked in, right? His cap's already locked. And he has eight troops on his capital. But we'll, be, we'll take this now. We will take this back. All right, he had 14 territories again. Yeah, I meant before since he didn't uh, have to lock himself, but he <laughs> did it anyways. Yeah, I guess I, I was l looking at something else, but you're right. I probably could have done that play for sure. Oh, three and one. He's risking it. Three and one's a uh, 75% shot. I think. I think it's 75. What? Oh my gosh, he got a four on three. I would have been that would have been crazy if he got a two on one too. Alright, we'll take over the rest of Asia here. Uh seven this. Alright, we'll take him out on his next turn here. We should get what? 5372? No, 532. That's his best shot. Slow roll, and he doesn't get it. Oof, bad dice. 21. I think we can take his calf. I'm guessing there's 8. Oh, there's seven. He had seven troops on his cap. An intermediate, nice. Puts us at 1,049. All right, let's do one more, guys. And then maybe we can get under 1K. I just want to get under 1K real quick. What if we try uh, a different 1v1? We'll try a US. Since we just won that. World Domination, US Manual Progressive 60, Fog Off Blizzards off ranked, yes. Alright, we'll try this one. And if we win it, uh, we should 
go under 49 more positions, I think. Get under 1k, or at least close to 1k. Has anyone else tried 1v1 in the US? Did, what is everyone's opinion on 1v1 in? Does anyone like the 1v1? So the reason I'm doing 1v1 is because I'm in a 1v1 tournament. Um, I just joined a tournament here for 1v1 in. So I, I have to practice my 1v1s. Um, I don't know when the tournament starts, but um, I do know classic is on there uh us is definitely on there i definitely need to do us um simple world i think simple world is also on there i go first okay this guy knows what he's doing he's not gonna let me hold regions i think he should take this one He's not going to take that one. You know, this guy definitely knows what he's doing. He's taking all the good picks. I want to see this guy's ranking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this guy definitely knows how to play. This guy's ranks are kind of crazy. Unlucky for us, but uh, we'll try try our best here. <laughs> how do I how do I outplay this guy? Someone that has that kind of a rank. <sighs> we'll take these. I was thinking about taking that one. So you know we you gonna take this? He has to Okay, he does know. Uh alright. I like 1v1s of all games. Alright, these three I don't wanna block if I don't have to, so let's uh let's block this one. We want to make picks where he has to group up his troops. The more, the bigger his grouping, uh, the easier it is for us to win. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I think I know where I can force him to put his, uh, his uh, big stack. This guy's a good player, so we have to play around that. Fine. I think we can do this. I, I'm gonna guess he's gonna put his capital, or I mean not his capital, his big stack in one of these two positions right here. So if we know that, uh, we can work around that. Uh, and he's not taking the centerpieces. Alright, please let me have this one. He's, wherever his, his big stack's going, it's going to be touching this strip of orange. I know that for sure. Because he's going to hope I'm going to take over this whole board, and then he can connect everything together. And I need to make sure he doesn't connect everything together. So, we will take this... Oh man, I don't know if I like that take. I wish I'd taken this one instead. <sighs> don't let him take my home state of Michigan. Alright, I'll try it. Wait, I hear he take your home state of 
Michigan. <laughs> Michigan is already lost. Oh man, there's there, oh all right. I think I know what we can do here. All right, we'll put um six here and put the rest here. And I think we sh should be able to counter. Oh my gosh, he actually knew where I was going. I <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> this guy, this guy is too good. I need to add pressure immediately on this guy. Uh, we'll keep our stack right here. He's gonna come in. Uh, okay. What if we fortify right here? Twenty-six. What do you have? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, thirteen territories. So if I take uh, 28, so this is the same count as a uh, classic. Classic has the same number. No way he stacked on Michigan in all places. I'm actually just as surprised. I didn't, I really didn't think he was going to play to Michigan, but um, Michigan was actually a really good play by him. Hmm. He's obviously taken out our 14 stack. Without a doubt. Oh, but he's gonna split? He's gonna split? Ah, uh, he doesn't pull out. Alright. Um, we, we have to break him. For sure. We put uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need um eight. We'll put eight, nine. We try taking this back over. Oh man, the more splits I have, the worse that it gets. Oh, he blocked us. He did have time to fortify. Hmm. Did we get a two on one? Oh, it doesn't even matter if I get a two on one. I said he needs to go below 28 here. No, uh, yeah, no way. He holds one region. We hold multiple regions. So where's he going to take? Oh, pull it. I didn't know where to pull it at, it, at that time. All right, we're going to have to break Michigan, right? This region, he's definitely going to retake this. And he's going to have to break these two regions here. He has to break three regions. What do he get? Six troops? Ooh. Oh, I don't know if he can do this. I don't know if he can break uh, all my regions. No way. He doesn't. He can't. Oh, wow. Nice. I think we might have got him a bit. No, that, that was really good. He had insane rolls at the start, but I think we might have got him here. We continue our pressure. We still have this pressure. He's going to pull there. We'll do another risky split as much as I don't want to split here. Uh, we'll hold this region. Slow rolls on. Always forget about that. Oh, he did pull out. Alright, let's uh 
take out all of this. This takes out four more. That's six. This three stack is going to force pressure on me. I have to break this region because he's going to take this region and break California. But he gets four troops. Split pressure. I hold this region and this region, but he can break both regions, I think. Oh, he's going to make another split. Yeah, you know, one thing I've learned is the more splits you have, the riskier it gets. I think he, those troops that he put there, he should have put on here. I think his chances were better if he attacked this way than uh, up here. Wait, he actually, why would he blitz my two? That, I think that was um, a mistake he should have made. He should have blitzed not my two stack. All right, well, we'll just take this. We have extra troops. We'll, uh, we'll take all this in here. Oh my gosh, and I misclicked. I didn't mean to attack that way. <laughs> All right, we can put pressure right here and take uh, Michigan and uh, this right here. Does he have a set on three? Even if he has a set on three, I don't think he can do it. Yay, Michigan is secured. We did secure Michigan. <laughs> All right, we'll put uh, seven here, seven there. Good game for sure. GG, well played. Oh, he's just gonna give up. All right, cool. Then we'll just turn in. Oh, and we get a wild card that we don't have to use. Not that it matters, but I, you know, just it's just a habit not to use wild cards if you don't have to. Oh man, we beat a grand master. Do you guys think we definitely went under? Oh wow, that that helped us out like 150 ranking points or more. Down to 912. Crazy. All right. I think uh we'll we'll end it here then. Pretty nice. That was pretty nice. I didn't expect to versus a grand master there. But uh, thank you guys all for um, stopping by and giving the support. I appreciate that. Awesome. Yes, this is awesome. 912 is really good. Uh, we will raid someone before we log off here. But thank you for the follow. It says, got the boy and Rose. And thank you for all the subs, Malikit. I very much appreciate that. And thank you for the follow just now, Emzas. Uh, thank you for the uh, the follow, uh, Heartless, Heartless Tin Can. GG, yo plays. Peace out. Peace out. Who is online that we can raid real quick before we uh, we end the stream? Hmm. It's a lot of uh, we have a lot of friends on tonight. What if we raid, um... <sighs> what if we raid... Spud here? Give Spud a raid. Hi, Arizona. Your playlist makes you feel good. But you should 
Uh, did I just bug out? Why is it not raiding? Raid cancelled? I'm sorry, something bugged out here on Twitch. Alright, see you guys uh, tomorrow. Funded in part with the City of San Diego Tourism Marketing District Assessment Fund. <laughs>